Welcome to the cafe. This is New Testament Greek 1, the alphabet. This one's on the house. If you're going to try to learn New Testament Greek, you should learn the alphabet. Otherwise, you won't have a clue what you're looking at. Greek uses different letters than English does, although there's a lot of similarities, so it shouldn't be too hard. Having said that, I have had students who, well into the first semester, still haven't gotten the letters down. That's fatal to your grade. But anyway, um, we can actually put the letters to the same song as the English alphabet song, A, B, C, D. Knowing the letters in order is of little value, there's a little value, because then you can look up things in the dictionary, which surprisingly puts things in the order of the alphabet. You can also know the names of the letters from the song. But in reality, Greek's going to throw the letters at you however it wants to. And you're going to have to be able to feel the sigma and know that it's a s sound whenever Greek does that. So, really, you should eventually put them on note cards, shuffle them, put them on the walls around your house or on your children, however you want to do it, and then learn them at random while you're sitting at a stoplight, not while you're driving, and then when the honking starts, you can move on. But, to fulfill all righteousness, the Greek alphabet song. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, Iota, Kappa, Lambda, Mu, Nu, Xi, Omicron, P, Pro, Sigma, Tau, Upsilon, Phi, Chi, Psi, Omega. Now I've said my Alpha, Beta, Gammas. Tell me what you think of my pajamas. I bet you just don't even know what to say about that. Well, the final segment of our Greek alphabet tour goes through how to write the letters, how to pronounce the letters, and how to transliterate them, that is, how to write them in English equivalents. Now, there really isn't a necessity for you to be able to write them in terms of being able to read the Greek New Testament, but it is a good thing to be able to do when you're in Greek kindergarten. So we go through some sense of how you might write the letters. You'll have flashbacks to kindergarten. Transliteration, being able to show them in English letters, is not also not too important, although occasionally you find Greek transliterated. I find it harder to re read the transliterated Greek than the original Greek, but uh, we'll do that. The sounds are what's important, because if you can get all your senses involved in learning, then you're going to learn it better. And so we will try to explain some basic sounds. There's more than one way to pronounce them. I have known some Greek teachers to use modern Greek pronunciation, which is a lot prettier and a lot more foreign sounding. However, because a lot of the letter, a lot of the sounds went to E uh, in the centuries following the New Testament, sometimes when you use modern Greek pronunciations, it's harder to distinguish between various things. And so I've stuck with a very boring and sterile kind of pronunciation for this. And so without further ado, let us finish this first Greek alphabet extravaganza with writing the letters. <laughs> 